depression is thought to affect at least seven about 17 million Americans alone although that no, that statistic is probably way too low so today I want to talk a little bit about some supplements that might help ease depression and depression is very common uh, just a little bit of a, a background uh, about depression the uh, there's different kinds of depression it's, what, it, what it basically is it's a, depression is a mood disorder that creates a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest to just lose interest in everything and the uh, American Psychiatric Association Diagnostic Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders classifies the depressive orders into these types disruptive mood dysregu dysregulation disorder major depressive disorder persistent depressive disorder also called dysthymia premenstrual dysph dysphoric disorder that's when women certain times of the month because of hormonal changes they tend to get deeply depressed irritable depressive disorder due to another medical condition the common features of all depressive disorders are sadness emptiness or irritable mood uh, 60 percent of the people with depression don't seek medical uh, help uh, there is some sort of, uh, there's often a very a genetic tendency to be depressed first degree relatives of depressed individuals are three times as likely to develop depression as the general population but you don't have to have a family member who is depressed to become depressed uh, neuro neurodegenerative diseases as you get older Alzheimer's disease Parkinson's disease tend to those people tend to be depressed uh, people who have had strokes multiple sclerosis seizures cancer macular degeneration all have been associated with higher rates of depression traumatic events such as the death or loss of a loved one lack or, or reduced social support financial problems conflicts these are all stresses that contribute uh, the, to depression what causes depression they think it could be due to a decrease of certain neurotransmitters in the brain which transmit neur neural signals and nerve messages and this is where the supplements come in uh, for example uh, the, uh, the w w people who are depressed often have a problem with uh, serotonin the neurotransmitter a lot of your antidepressants drugs work by inhibiting the uh, uptake of, uh, of serotonin in other words prevent its premature breakdown in the brain other, other neurotransmitters in the brain associated with depression include norepinephrine dopamine in fact dopamine is the probably the best neurotransmitter against depression because when your dopamine when your dopamine is elevated you want to do things you're happy uh, you know dopamine is elevated when you have sex all good things that happen to you when you make money dopamine goes up if it goes too high then you get what you get a type of schizophrenia so uh, <coughs> so the uh, diagnosis of what happens some of the symptoms of depression sleep disturbance a reduction of interest and pleasure guilt feelings or thoughts of worthlessness uh, fatigue and energy changes lack of concentration appetite and weight changes either loss or gain of weight uh, suicidal thoughts depressed mood uh, there's an old joke um, where a guy goes to his psychiatrist and he says doc I, I, uh, I feel I'm suicidal I think I'm, I'm gonna kill myself and the psychiatrist replies from now on you pay in advance the, uh, the, I'm not going to go into the test for uh, depression, but normally there's various medical treatments. Electroconvulsive therapy is useful for patients who don't respond to medications. That's basically shock therapy. They've shown that in movies like One Flew Over the, the Cuckoo's Nest. I know a famous bodybuilder who's passed away. I'm not going to mention his names. He had a big, big problem with depression. I knew this guy. He was a former Mr. America. Uh, I remember when his wife left him, he, he had to have shock therapy. He told me himself this story. Uh, he passed away not a couple of years ago. I don't want to mention his name. Uh, it's private. But the way they treat you with medications, if you have uh, depression, are antidepressants, selective serotonin reuptake of inhibitors. Like I said, these drugs prevent the reuptake of uh, serotonin and make it last longer in the brain. Uh, they have uh, serotonin dopamine activity modulators, tricyclic antidepressants, and mono, mono, monomine oxidase inhibitors. Mayo is the enzyme that ma breaks down these happy neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin. Uh, so um, again, I'm not going to go into the uh, the psychotherapy, cognitive behavioral therapy. Uh, you know, uh, but let's talk now a little bit about supplements, knowing that 
depression usually stems from a uh, usually an imbalance of let's say brain neurotransmitters in the, in the brain the ones that kind of elevate the mood tend to be low and most of these supplements work by increasing the level of these neurotransmitters so one of them is uh, rhodiola rosea uh, rhodiola rosea is uh, linked to increased energy uh, and it, it exerts its antidepressants effects because it enhances nerve communication and it reduces over act, overactivity of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal cortical axis in other words it helps to control cortisol when cortisol goes up you tend to be depressed also uh, st so, some studies show that supplementing with rhodiola rhodiola may benefit those with depression by uh, affecting neurotransmitter receptor and molecular networks a study of 57 people with depression found the treatment of 340 milligrams of rhodiola extract for 12 weeks led to significantly mean, meaningful reductions of depression. Uh, rhodiola treatment was a little bit less, less effective than antidepressant medication sertraline, but it caused much fewer side effects. You should also know that antidepressant drugs t often take weeks before you feel anything, sometimes four to six weeks. It's got the antidepressant drugs have a ton of side effects, including uh, impotence, and, uh, and strangely enough, uh, a uh, increased uh, tendency to suicide if you get off of cold turkey. Another herb that's associated with uh, decreasing depression is saffron, which is uh, it load, it's loaded with uh, antioxidants. Uh, studies have shown that saffron extract increases levels of serotonin in the brain. Nobody really knows how, but uh, it might inhibit serotonin reuptake, which means it works like the antidepressant drugs. An analysis of five randomized controlled trials found that supplementing with saffron significantly reduced depressive symptoms in patients and adults with depression compared with placebo. Uh, another one is omega-3 fatty acids, which is found in fish oil. Uh, omega-3 fats are essential fats, uh, the main ones being DHA and EPA. A 2020 analysis of randomized controlled trials that featured 638 women found that omega-3 fatty acid supplements significantly improved depressive symptoms in pregnant and postpartum women. Uh, women uh, who uh, are, give birth very often have this uh, serious type of depression called postpartum uh, depression. It's uh, very, very problematic. And uh, if women ingest uh, omega-3 fatty acids or fish oil, it greatly improves that, that type of depression. Uh, um, Another review of 26 studies that included 2,160 uh, subjects found that omega-3 supplements exerted an overall positive effect on the treatment of depression. Uh, they, uh, the dose was uh, one gram, but the truth is one gram's not gonna do crap. For depression, you have to have about five grams of uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, I should also point out that a recent study was published only about two weeks ago uh, it was what they call a uh, uh, a meta-analysis, meaning it looked at a bunch of other past studies, and it concluded that omega-3 fatty acids have very little effect on depression. Which, again, I kind of disagree with that because you know you could cherry pick studies for meta-analysis, and you could you could pick any studies you want to prove your point. And when you realize that omega-3 fatty acids in the brain kind of stimulate serotonin production and release, it would make sense that omega-3 fatty acids definitely would favorably affect depression. Another supplement that might help with depression is NAC, which stands for N-acetylcysteine. Right now, the government is trying to get rid of NAC. It's been around for years. They're trying to reclassify it as a drug. Amazon.com uh, has already stopped selling NAC. Uh, 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 if you can find N N A N A C online, I suggest you stop up, stock up on it. It's probably going to be removed from the market if it isn't already by as I'm speaking. I don't know, but research shows that people with depression are more likely to have high levels of inflammatory cytokines like C-reactive protein, interleukin six, and tumor necrosis factor alpha. Because N A C reduces inflammation, it can ease depressive symptoms. NAC may improve neurotransmitter dysregulation in those with psychiatric disorders. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I, I vaguely remember seeing a recent study where they want to use NAC to treat uh, schizophrenia. It apparently is amazingly effective for that. 
The 2016 review of five studies included that treatment with NAC significantly reduced depressive symptoms and improved functioning in people with depression compared with placebo. The, do the dose of uh, NAC to help depression is 2 to 2.4 grams per day. As I said, uh, there's an effort now to remove NAC from over-the-counter sales, so stock up on it. I bought a couple extra bottles myself. I use it. I take 600 milligrams twice a day. I don't have a tendency to depression because I work out. I should also point out, since I'm talking about working out, training, exercise is one of the greatest and quickest ways to treat depression. Uh, even the supplements take a little bit of time. L-tyrosine is, is a very good amino acid to treat depression because L-tyrosine is the raw material for the neurotransmitters, dopamine and norepinephrine, uh, which when, when they are elevated in the brain, depression tends to get less. And when you exercise, you automatically elevate dopamine and norepinephrine and all the brain neurotransmitters that that produce depression, uh, uh, that, that actually, uh, which I should say that are deficient in depression. When you exercise, you elevate all these lowered neurotransmitters so exercise is almost an immediate cure for depression. I mean, it works faster than any drug, any supplement. So I just want to point that out. Vitamin D, which most people are lacking. I've talked in recent in, in other videos about why vitamin D. It, it, if you go out in the sun for 20 minutes, expose most of your body, your body will make enough vitamin D from the cholesterol in your skin. Unless you're black, overweight, or older, then it doesn't work as well. But vitamin D is a very, very inexpensive supplement. It's in tiny little capsules. But research shows that people with depression are more likely to be lower deficient in D. And again, it has to do with an imbalance of the neurotransmitters that's caused by uh, having low vitamin D. Uh, vitamin D also reduces inflammation, which is uh, associated with depression. It helps to regulate mood and protects against neurocognitive uh, dysfunction. A 2019 review of four randomized controlled trials found that vitamin D supplements tend to, uh, tend to offer clinical benefits in people with major depression. Another 2020 study in people with depression who were deficient in D found that receiving a single injection of 300,000 units, that's a whopping amount of D, along with their usual treatment, significantly improved depressive symptoms, quality of life, and illness severity. Uh, so B vitamins, again, B, B vitamins, such as folate, B12, B6. They're, involved, they're needed for the production and regulation of neurotransmitters like serotonin, GABA, and dopamine. So consequently, those B vitamins will help ease depression. Research shows that deficiencies in vitamin B12 and folate may increase the risk of depression. And supplementing with these new nutrients may help reduce depression. Uh, vitamin D, B12 has been shown to reduce depressive symptoms. Uh, vitamin, C, vitamin B6 has been found to improve depressive symptoms when used in combination with other nutrients, including tryptophan. Tryptophan is the immediate nutritional precursor for serotonin synthesis in the brain and a form of uh, uh, B, uh, B vitamin called nicotinamide, which can also be converted into tryptophan. Zinc is a trace mineral also that's involved in helping to prevent depression. An analysis of 17 observational studies found that people with low, with low blood levels of zinc uh, had greater incidence of depression compared to people who didn't. Uh, a study, a review that included four randomized controlled studies found that when participants took zinc supplements alongside their antidepressant medications, they experienced significantly lower depressive symptoms more than the antidepressants alone. Another uh, common supplement for, to treat depression, s adenosyl methanine, or also known as SAM-E, it's a sulfur-containing compound. Uh, it's uh, pretty good for depression. A 2020 review study of eight, uh, 2020 review of eight studies found that SAMe, when used alone or with antidepressant medication, improved depressive symptoms, and, and the daily doses ranged from 200 to 3,200 milligrams, while the treatment time was anywhere from two to 12 weeks. A famous herb for treating depression is St. John's wort. A 2016 review of 35 studies found the treatment St. John's wort reduced symptoms in people with mild to moderate depression, but it's not good for uh, treating severe depression. It doesn't help. If you ever take St. John's wort, don't go in the sun. It makes your skin photosensitive where you can get a pretty bad burn. Magnesium, another mineral that helps with depression. Uh, magnesium is involved, again, with the uh, synthesis of neurotransmitters in the brain that prevent depression. 
A randomized study of 126 people with mild to moderate depression found that taking 248 milligrams of magnesium per day for six weeks improved depressive symptoms compared with the placebo. Creatine. Creatine, which many people use to help work out, you know, increase workout energy. Some studies suggest that supplement two to ten grams of creatine a th- day may reduce uh, uh, symptoms, uh, depressive symptoms. So uh, that's about it for. Uh, that's just. There's other supplements. I said I only briefly mentioned tyrosine, phenylalanine, which is, uh, 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 which is a uh, ty- tyrosine can be converted into. Uh, I'm sorry, phenylalanine can be converted into t- uh, tyrosine. So phenylalanine is another antidepressive uh, amino acid. Uh, so I've mentioned a couple of supplements that might help. Uh, you don't have to use all of them, but try them if you're uh, depressed. Uh, you know, most of them work with ma- mainly mild to moderate depression. Uh, the heavy depression, unfortunately, usually you have to resort to drugs. But before you use the drugs, try exercise first especially aerobic exercise. Aerobic exercise immediately elevates all those brain neurotransmitters. Very hard to be depressed if you do uh, aerobics. It really works. Uh, and uh, that's about it. If you want more information on uh, n- nutrition, exercise science, uh, the science of food supplements, fat loss techniques that really work, anti-aging research you can use today, hormonal therapy, ergogenic aids, women's health and fitness, and much more, sub- 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 subscribe today. To my Applied Metabolics newsletter, www.appliedmetabolics.com. 40 to 50 pages every month. No digital publication. None can match the, the, the amount uh, and, and the uh, depth of information in my Applied Metabolics newsletter. It's very, very low priced. You, it's a bargain, probably the greatest bargain. I saw another, uh, uh, let's say, uh, type of health newsletter. They're asking $250 a month for that. Mine is ten dollars a month. Uh, you know, you, co- you buy a cup of coffee in one of those coffee places. It's uh, almost as, it's cheaper than that if you buy the cup. Uh, you know, every day, cheaper than a daily newspaper. You can't be beat. I'm serious. I mean, and I guarantee you will learn something. What I have in my newsletter is is uh, not what you find on the internet. All these blogs and these these websites. I I write about stuff that nobody else writes about, but it's very useful to know. So subscribe today. www AppliedMetabolics.com. When you subscribe, I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page. Each day, I post new information on nutrition, exercise, science, medicine, and general health. You have to be a subscriber though to uh, join that particular uh, uh, Facebook page. Also, I have an email portal, my Applied Metabolics web page, where current subscribers only could send me short questions about maybe anything they read in the newsletter or anything that comes to mind, as long as they're short questions. Also, I would appreciate it uh, if you don't abuse that. A uh, recent subscriber has been sending me about 50, 50, about 20 questions a day. I had to cut him off because, you know, you don't get unlimited question answering for $10 a month. Nobody on the planet Earth is going to do that, and I'm not going to do it either. That's abuse. That's, I mean, I have better things to do than be this guy's unpaid advisor all the time. That's crazy altogether. But anyway, so uh, if you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, Go to your local shelter, adopt a dog, over and out, take care.